Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And today I'm going to be dehydrating up more zucchini and I want to show you how I like to do it plus a few other options. Now, <laughs> I got to show you uh, these zucchini here. This is typically the biggest I like them to get. Uh, you know, I don't like my zucchinis to get dried and punky. I think the flavor is always best when they're kind of medium size or, you know, ish. These two just got out of control and I missed them and yeah they're pretty good size especially for a black beauty zucchini they I don't think they're supposed to necessarily get that big but yeah my plants are so huge and so full and so thick that um, I keep missing some and they just seem to be hiding under things and hopefully these aren't punky on the inside but I'll be cutting into this today one of these today to find out and, but first let's get started by showing some of the different ways I like to slice up my zucchini for dehydrating and some other options that you can use. And you can see here I'm using the cute little chicken cutting board that Mr. Rain made for me. So my favorite way to cut the zucchini for dehydrating is to start by cutting into fairly thin sized discs like this. And then cut them, cut those in half, just like that. And that's about, that's about all I do. And then I'm going to spread these on my dehydrator trays. Just throw them on there. And if you come across one, if I come across one that seems a little on the thick, a little bit too thick, I'll just slice that one down. Okay, now that, that's the shape that I like to use the most for dehydrating. And this is how they look when they're all done. Okay, I've got one jar here. I'm in the process of filling, so here's where I'm at. Okay, now another shape that I've used before that I, I liked pretty well for dehydrated. I haven't dehydrated zucchini in the last couple of years, but the year before, the, a few years ago, I dehydrated. I had, I don't know how many quart jars of zucchini dehydrated up, and I was trying different shapes and just seeing what I liked best and so these two are my favorite so the next thing I do after I cut my discs like that is I just go this way so I end up with so I end up with pieces that look like that almost like french fries in a way and I like these for if I'm wanting to use them as maybe a noodle replacement I found I like these best when it comes to dehydrating uh, the, the slices like this or if you don't even if instead of cutting them in half after you cut them into discs just dehydrate them in the dish shape those would be good for layering uh, in making something like using them as a noodle replacement for lasagna or something like that uh, but for using as a as just a basic noodle replacement something that maybe you want to put sauce over this is a good one here now I've done the ones where I, I didn't get the fancy spiralizer. I had just this little tiny one by hand where you twisted it and made some like that and dehydrated them up. And honestly, I did not care for them. They were not my favorite way when it came to using them. And I also tried shredding them like you would do for making a zucchini bread. And I dehydrated those up and again, wasn't as pleased with it but it is an option that's a nice way to do it that doesn't take up freezer space now I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting these up and filling up my trays and showing you how they look when they're all done okay so if you have a zucchini that's bigger like this these would actually be really good ones for using in as a noodle replacement for lasagna so making a, a zucchini lasagna and I would recommend probably I've never tried it with the dehydrated zucchini doing that. Maybe some have and they can share their experiences below. But what I would guess is the best thing to do is to probably rehydrate it at least a little bit. I, I don't think you would need to rehydrate it the whole way. But just let them sit in a little bit of, of water for just a little bit before you layer them into your lasagna. On the other hand, if you're going to put a good sauce on there that maybe is just not a real super thick sauce, it may rehydrate it well enough on its own. A lot of times when I use dehydrated things, especially something like zucchini which rehydrates really well, uh, I don't usually bother rehydrating it 
uh, if I'm going to use it in a sauce or something like that anyway. So just it just depends on how you're going to use it. Again, if you've done this, share with us your experiences using it that way. Uh, but anyway, you may want to keep them this big would be really good for that kind of thing. So you may want to leave them whole just like this and then put them in your jars like that. I'm still going to go ahead and cut these in half just because I can put more on the dehydrator when I do that. That's the main reason why I like to do that rather than leaving them in disc shape. However, they should still layer up quite well. And I plan on doing that this year with some of my dehydrated zucchini. Now using these as noodles works pretty good. Uh, just uh, You just want to cook them in water for just a little bit. It doesn't take very long. You don't want to overcook them or they're going to get mushy. Uh, same thing applies if you use them fresh as a noodle. And then you're going to want to drain them really good because they can be way too watery. But they do really make a great pasta replacement. Okay, so I got my trays filled up and decided to go ahead and do most of them since that one was pretty big in the strips like that to use more as a noodle replacement. Now, when you put this on your dehydrator, you do not want to set your heat higher than 125 and I would recommend sticking at 115. You're just going to get a better result and yes it takes longer more dehydrating time to do that but you're using a lower heat you're not overheating your trays you're not overheating your vegetables and you just get a better result overall 115 to 125 tops even 125 can sometimes be a little bit too much. Zucchini dries up pretty quick and and there's a lot of water in zucchini, so it's going to end up way smaller than it looks here. But that's one of the nice things about dehydrating is when you go to put it up, it's going to take up a lot less room than canning or freezing it is going to. And then you have it. Like I said a few years ago, when I canned them up, or when I dehydrated them up, I had I don't know how many quart jars full of zucchini, and it was really great to have that on hand. And since I didn't dry any up last year, I definitely wanted to do this year. This year, Last year I did mostly freezing of the zucchini, which is another great method to use. But dehydrating is wonderful. Now, I did try doing the zucchini chips with spreading a little bit of oil on there, just lightly brushing some oil on there, and then, and then lightly, you want to do it lightly, put a little seasoning salt on there. And they did, did turn out really good. They tasted really good. But they didn't get as crispy as they do when you just leave them plain. And don't, I mean, you can season them, but don't, the oil just left them a little bit more soft. They didn't get that same crispiness like I thought they might. Because sometimes you pour oil on it, even in dehydrating, it'll make things crispier. But in this case, nope, it was the reverse. So I recommend skipping the oil if you're wanting more of a light, crispy kind of chip. Just put a little bit of your homemade seasoned salt, and I do have a video on that, how to make your own homemade seasoned salt, and I'll link to it right up here. And, uh, and it's really good. And I did that a few years ago and really liked it, but I, the first mistake I made, the first time I tried it, was I put a little bit too much salt. I put as much on there as you would think if you're going to eat it fresh like this. And you have to remember, they dehydrate up really small, so then your salt concentration for each piece is going to be higher. So, yeah, you got to be very careful. Just a little bit of salt. But uh, one thing, even though this has nothing to do with dehydrating, that you can do with these big pieces like this, is they make, they're really good for um, using as a bread replacement for making little sandwiches. So those who are grain free, there's a lot of people out there that have to go grain free. And this is, zucchini is one of those wonderful things that you can use to replace all kinds of different grains, especially noodles, but even as a bread. So a, a few years ago, I think it was, I was cutting up zucchini this big and I was making like some kind of sandwich. I don't remember what I put in there. I put in cheese and onions. And we were eating these little sandwiches, and they were really good and really healthy for you too. So just a, a just something you can do as a bread replacement when using it fresh. I like to cut these up like these and dip them, you know, even fresh and and cold, and use them kind of like a French fry, or heat them up, bake them a little bit. Same thing. Usually, I just eat them fresh when it comes to that. They're just so good for you like that. Or just sprinkle a little bit of seasoning salt on them and eat them just like this. I love it. Zucchini is so healthy for you and it's so versatile. And on my last video, I think it was the this and that video talking about zucchini, there was a lot of interesting ideas on there. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link to it right up here. Go check it out. 
and then go below and read some of the comments. There was a couple people in there that shared about how their mom or their grandma took zucchini and made apple pie or an apple bread and yet there was no apple in it. It was only zucchini. It was just spiced in such a way to mimic the flavor of, of like cinnamon apple and people had no clue that it was zucchini. I thought that was really interesting. So there's a thought right there if you're trying to figure out how to, how to use up that zucchini. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.